Place to be, no one's waiting for me. I won't lie, I'm into you. Got like a million ideas what we could do. Cause I feel like this machine puts all its effort into creating foam, and I'm not the biggest fan of foam. It's like this thick layer of foam on top of coffee. I haven't had my coffee yet, if you guys can tell, I'm cranky. Fantastic. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. I just got back from Trader Joe's and I've decided to go to Trader Joe's early in the morning. It's just fast, quick, efficient. I don't have to wait in line because the Trader Joe's near my house, there's always the longest line there. So I prefer to go early in the morning as soon as they open. So I was there at like literally eight o'clock and I was in and out in like 20 minutes because it's just that quiet early in the morning so i haven't had my coffee yet because i woke up late it has been two days back to back that i'm having wine and a little bit too much of it the first night honestly i only had like a glass and half and i was tipsy it was bad i'll show you guys what was the wine that i was drinking it was a white wine that i don't even drink white wine it's my cooking wine um and i just didn't want to drink pinot noir so i was like it's not rosé season yet i'm just gonna drink this white wine okay let me grab it and show it to you guys it is this i think this is the one of the cheapest wines i can ever buy it's a pinot grigio um california roots this is like the wine that i use in cooking in pastas and stuff so i was like i don't want to drink red wine and it's not rosé season so i'm just gonna drink this um, a glass of this my cousin was at my at our, at our house a glass of a glass and half in drunk literally drunk have this in mind i always mix my rosé and white wine with water so it was watered down i was tipsy that was that and then last night i had a couple of my friends over then uh, i was like maybe the day before like the the day before yesterday i was a little bit hungry that's why i got tipsy i tried this again because i didn't want to drink um, red wine um, we didn't have pinot noir uh, we had another red wine and i don't know why all of a sudden i'm bougie i only drink pinot noir so i again started drinking this long story short and a glass in and i was tipsy i don't know what's in this but it makes me tipsy like there's no tomorrow i can handle like good amount of alcohol um after my weight loss surgery i can't handle as much uh but i i can handle a lot of alcohol not a lot like a good amount uh i'm not someone who gets tipsy on just the cocktail but yeah this one gets into my soul anyway that was a very long story of why i woke up so late today and why do i look the way that i look <laughs> basically so yeah, I didn't have coffee because I woke up late, I woke up at 7.45, got into my clothes, rushed to Trader Joe's, got unnecessary stuff. Um, all of these items are not essential, this is not like my weekly or monthly grocery haul. These are all the random bits that I just want to go get from Trader Joe's. Honestly, I was going in for flowers and there's just a couple of items that I actually needed, but the rest of them are just extras. So let's get into, please ignore the kitchen. The house is a mess, the kitchen is a mess. Everything needs cleaning. Uh, but let me show you guys what I got from Trader Joe's. Um, the flower department was looking very sad. The flowers were not very fresh, so I didn't get that many. I got this little roses. We still have a lot of roses left from my mom's birthday. Um, so I'm just gonna mix this in with those roses. 
and are they only roses? No, they're other flowers. I don't know. I'm just gonna mix these flowers with the other flowers and make these bouquets. Got hydrangeas, even though I promised myself to never get hydrangeas because they die on me really quickly. And since it's springtime almost, I got a tulips. So these are the flowers, and let me grab the bags to show you guys what else I got. Potato chips, because Trader Joe's potato chips are the best. So these red wines, I'm not sure if I've tried them before or not. Probably I have, because they look familiar. Um, both of them are Pinot Noir. I got these two. I'm 100% sure I've tried both of them before. Uh, because they both look very familiar. So I got these two because we love Pinot Noir in this household. Kettle chips, literally my weakness. These yogurts are the best. Do not argue with me over them. They're just so good. Any yogurt besides this, I feel like they taste like paint. It might be in my head, but that's how I feel. Uh, breadcrumb. These cheese sticks, the cheddar cheese sticks, my battery is dying, so give me one second. These cheddar cheese sticks, I absolutely love them for like cheese board, but I like putting them in salads as well. Um, they're so good, gives the texture, gives a crunch. Uh, tomato soup, because probably we're gonna have a rainy weather this weekend. These dark chocolate um, covered bananas, never tried it, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, I have such a sweet tooth. Hash browns for breakfast. Um, this is my favorite, favorite gluten-free pasta. You guys know how much I love Italian food. Minced garlic. I like fresh garlic if you're being honest, but sometimes some foods require minced garlic. Um, this is a mixed nut butter. I've never tried this, but I love having um, this like mixed but like butter, peanut butter, almond butter, and stuff like that. Um, on my oatmeal or in my smoothies. Recently, I've been really into smoothies because they're just easy and quick. Alfredo sauce. This pasta sauce, I really, really like this compared to all the other ones from Trader Joe's. It just has a different kind of a texture. Uh, banana and strawberry yogurt. I've been seeing this all over TikTok, so I was like, I just need to give it a try. We're gonna actually make a sandwich today for lunch. Uh, mixed greens love this for salad putting into um what do you call it sandwiches um i've never tried this oven roasted chicken breast and i was just curious i was like for sandwiches this might be good so i'll let you guys know what i think of it cherry tomatoes because we love cherry tomatoes another bag of um breadcrumb then my absolute favorite veggie burgers like i'm absolutely obsessed with this i'm no longer vegetarian but when i was vegetarian this was like my ride or die and i still love them um i mix them i like i use them as a protein in my salad instead of adding chicken breast i add this or i even make burgers with it these are my absolute favorite ones the high protein veggie burger um they don't taste weird um their texture is just a little bit weird so you have to give them a little bit of time um if i put them in an oven i have to toast them really well if not like they fall apart but if you're doing it on a pan um the last minute i say just like put it in a high heat so it gets a little bit crunchy and then after these i like this one the cauliflower and the broccoli one i really really like these ones as well um so if you're vegetarian try these if you have never tried them before as i said i'm not a vegetarian but i like those um this was just interesting i got it because again i love italian food baby carrots because i'm obsessed with baby carrots i just love them i don't know why um another item that i didn't need that sounded very interesting for like a quick meal mushroom ravioli i love ravioli and i love mushroom then i got two kinds of cauliflower rice this one is the cauliflower stir fry and this one is just a regular cauliflower these were in their frozen section but i remember seeing it in a fresh section as well um i think these are cooked maybe i'm not sure to be honest with you and then chicken broth because sometimes i like to make my quinoas in chicken broth it just tastes better uh, when I was vegetarian, I was making them in water, but now that I am not, I really like cooking them, cooking them in um, chicken broth and for soup as well, which is fantastic. So yeah, those are everything that I got from Trader Joe's. And 
So now I am going to organize all of this in their correct places and then I'm going to hop into shower because I have not get showered for the day and I want to scrub off my tan. I have a little bit of a tan left if you, if you guys can see like the marks. This tan fades so beautifully like it's not like other tans that like you're all patchy. I obviously have like patches on the areas that I like wear my bracelet. I don't know if you guys can see in like these areas but overall you're not as patchy as all the other tanning products um so yeah after i organize all of this i'm gonna hop into shower scrub my body very well uh, i'm not gonna wash my hair because i recently washed my hair like two three days ago and we all know i don't wash my hair that often um and then i just want to have a little bit of a pamper kind of morning i'm gonna do face mask i'm actually gonna shave my face because i haven't done that in a very very long time and i feel like my skin needs that extra exfoliation and then uh, it's gonna be a no makeup day um until at night um i have a very very busy weekend i have a baby shower it's my cousin's baby shower on sunday tomorrow is my best friend's birthday um in the morning um and in the afternoon i have my cousin's birthday at night and tonight i'm going out to dinner so i have a very very busy weekend ahead of me so i want to have a fresh tan that's why i'm gonna go exfoliate and then uh, come out shave my face uh, put face mask on we haven't done a mask session together in a very very long time we're gonna do that and probably in the afternoon uh, we're gonna go out because i have not yet bought gift for my cousin or my best friend so we're gonna go to a nearby store that has very cute jewelry i want to get both of them jewelry um so we're gonna go there uh, to buy them a gift but probably i'm gonna do that in the afternoon because um i have a very busy day ahead of me for the time being let's go clean out this mess that i created it's 1 a.m i ain't tired i can stand right here and talk all night if you want i ain't got no place to be no one's waiting for me i won't lie i'm into you got like a million ideas what we could do because i'm not gonna let you slip away i won't waste this there's something about the way you fix your eyes on me I just got out of shower I took the hottest shower possible by the way my piercing this top one I don't know why for a couple of days it has been irritated and my other um, my flower garland from Maria Tash because that's a um what do you call it flat back i have to screw it on it is like the limited amount of um length on it and it's swollen so that i couldn't fit that in it literally popped open so i just put this one that is i think very heavy for my ear i have to change it because it's still very irritated and red um i think this is a little bit heavy i have to put something small on it until it completely heals then i can put my maria tash one back in um uh, but speaking of earrings this one is a single flower situation um that is pretty much the dupe of the single maria tash one i got it off of amazon it comes in a pack of three and it is ten dollar so i'm just letting you guys know because so many people always ask me for maria tash jewelry dupe like my earrings and stuff oh i have a little bit of tan left <laughs> uh, but yeah um and usually i can't find the flower garland one but i was able to find this one i'm gonna link this for in the description box below but anyway now we're gonna start shaving our face i'm using the sephora own brand razor i think i have talked about this before no shaving my face doesn't make my uh, facial hair grow thicker none of that exfoliates my face to the perfection i'm actually trying a technique i have never tried i usually go in with dry uh, face i'm just like sanitizing my razor i use this razor i think one or two times so i'm so it's still in good condition i'm just i'm in a habit of um, sanitizing it before i use it um i love this like it's metal it's very luxurious feeling so i usually do it on dry skin and i sometimes get bumps i was watching a girl they said use a serum or like an oil or something on your face i'm gonna go in with my rose hip oil i'm not sure if i'm doing the correct thing doing that i might be wrong so i'll let you guys know but i'm gonna put a little bit of it my face is dry i haven't put anything on it yet um i'm gonna put a little bit of oil so it makes it a little bit slippery because I have really dry skin 
and I feel like when I do it on dry skin it just pulls my skin and like irritates it so basically all I do is like go all over my face and do this Ooh. not only this removes facial hair which I don't have as much facial hair because I lasered it like five six years ago uh, but it also gets rid of the dead skin and skincare goes in better your makeup sits better I'm just noticing I have a lot of uh, self tan left on my neck and my ears <laughs> mm. and in between I always like clean my um, razor so that's what I'm gonna do all over my face it's 1 a.m. and I ain't tired I can stand right here and talk all night if you want I ain't got no place to be no one's waiting for me my face is completely shaved i'm just gonna take it cut and pad and garnier marcella water and clean my entire face this is where you're gonna apply face mask yeah i have a lot of time left on my neck but I don't like to scrub my neck a lot because obviously the skin there is super thin and it can cause a lot of wrinkling I already have a little bit of wrinkles because of obviously my major weight loss I don't want to add on to them skin feels so good like I can't tell you guys how soft it feels I'm gonna mist my face a little bit and then we're gonna go into the uh, face mask because I took the hottest shower of my life and I was there for a while like exfoliating, shaving and all of that I'm not gonna stain my face but if I wasn't doing all of that I would have stained my face before applying the face masks and I always love to apply face mask on my wet face I've talked about this before it just acts as a sponge and like soaks in the product that you put on top of it better I'm using the LMS Superfood Green Tea Mist. I love this. So on my T-zone, I'm going to go in with the Glam Glow Mask. You guys know how much I love this. It's a ride or die product for me. It just cleanses the pores like no tomorrow. And I start from the center and just distribute. There's another way you fix your eyes on me. This was probably a little bit too thick. Um, to take off a layer you don't need as much but it already came out so I just put it in there for the remaining of my face I'm gonna go in with this Touch High Violet C Radiant Mask this one is just basically glowy I can, you can just apply this wait for it to dry and then apply this all over your face but we're gonna multitask and apply this because I honestly have a lot to get to today if I had more time, I would have waited for um, the Glam Glow one to dry and then apply this all over my face. But as I said, I really don't have time today. I have a lot that I need to get to. I like taking this like on my big area as well. Like this area because I feel like it's hydrating. Oh god, I look ridiculous. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this on for like 10-15 minutes until it like dries a little bit and then I'm gonna wash it off and then we'll be back we'll do my quick morning skincare and get along with our day literally feel like a new woman after a good mask session now morning skincare um, I have not yet applied my tan um, on my body um, as well because I knew I'm gonna like wash my face and stuff you're gonna create lines so just make sure you're all done with any kind of anything washing and wet before you apply your tan but i'm gonna apply my face tan now purity mist just love 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 this the tan is never patchy never orange it's just i absolutely love it um then i go in with this two product the saint tropez um vitamin um c and d tanning um drops and summer friday i do a pump of each 
and go all over my face. This redness will go away in like probably an hour. Uh, I'm gonna go in with my LMS Pro Collagen Marine SPF 30 moisturizer because I'm not applying makeup and I'm gonna get out of the house so I wanna make sure my skin is protected. So we're gonna go all in. For now, tanning, work, lunch, and then we'll go to the store together. Stand right here and talk all night if you want I ain't got no place to be, no one's waiting for me I won't lie, I'm into you Got like a million ideas what we This is why I don't like to get hydrangeas Because they just die on me really quickly sometimes These two are still doing fantastic But this one, literally as soon as um, I put it in the water Literally four hours later, it was dead I'm gonna add a little bit of hot water because apparently that's the key to hydrangeas and see if I can bring this back to life but I feel like it's too dead to come back to life but we will see I don't think I showed you guys the flower bouquet that I made the other day here is um, the other bouquet um, the roses are not doing so well some of them that are older but still looking fantastic I mean it's three days after um, the last time you guys saw me the tulips are still thriving though, they're looking fantastic. Good morning everyone. It is Monday morning, so literally um, three days after you saw you guys saw me last. I honestly don't even remember what was the last clip I recorded. Um, I haven't edited that video, so I don't know where it stopped. But Friday until like this morning, it has been all a blur because I, there's so many things happened. Um, I'll try to catch you guys up to it um, very quickly. So Friday was extremely busy. I think after I talked to you guys, I started doing a little bit of work things. Then I totally forgot about a conference call. Usually that never ever happens. I usually write them in my calendar, but I totally forgot about it. And um, my management messaged me. They're like, you're late to the conference call. It's been 10 minutes. We're waiting for you. I'm like, Oh my god. So I had to go on the conference call, which was a pretty long one. It took like an hour and a half, but it was a very successful one. Then that made me um, late to dinner, so I just quickly got ready and um, just had a, headed at the door. I was not able to even record my OOTD, uh, but I showed it on my Instagram story. I wore uh, one of the pieces that I uh, got from Zara. I can't wait to show you guys a Zara haul because these pieces are just amazing. There's a lot of color involved. Um, so yeah, Friday night, went out to dinner. And then Saturday um, in the morning, I went to the boutique and got gifts for my best friend and my cousin. Um, because they were wrapping the gift, I was not able to show it to you guys. I just took a picture and a video of them so I can show it to you. Uh, for my best friend, I got the evil eye bracelet. It was so cute. I really wanted one for myself too, but I just was just like, no, you don't need to. It was an evil eye, but with a black... Um, evil eye not blue one and then for my cousin I got a bracelet uh, in Armenian initial of her first name um, it was gorgeous they both really really liked it so Saturday morning I went to the store and then lunchtime we went to the Spanish restaurant the food there was amazing like the flavor everything it just was fantastic um so saturday for lunch we went to that restaurant with my best friend and then uh by the time i got home because we were there for a pretty long time we had desserts coffee and all of that by the time i got home it was like 5 30 and then 6 30 i had to go to my cousin's house um, I recorded the reels of Get Ready With Me with another Zara piece, uh, which that piece was really stunning as well. Um, and then went to my cousin's house, um, came home really late. And then Sunday um, was my cousin's baby shower. Um, I woke up, I was supposed to wake up early to wash my hair. I didn't get, get a chance to do it. Um, I barely got up and got ready. Um, so yeah, yesterday was the baby shower. By the time I got home, it was really late and the house was a mess, my bedroom was a mess, like it just was a chaotic situation. So all I did was clean up the entire house. I had laundry folded that I had to put away. Um, so it was basically, I was, 
planning and organizing everything so i can have a fresh monday i hate when i start my mondays chaotic and busy and went to bed early and woke up super early this morning and i was finishing up editing today's video that is gonna go live in a little bit which is my hair care routine i'm gonna link it for you guys i have a um zoom meeting in a little bit so i just want to look a little bit presentable um and i'm wearing this very very gorgeous dress from express i'm like literally obsessed with it like how cute is this uh one of my friends i was wearing this like a couple of weeks ago and one of my friends was did you add these buttons on it i was like no why and she was like it's something you would do i'm like you're so right i would but no i didn't this dress came with these buttons so yeah basically that was my very very long weekend uh, and today is going to be another busy day mondays are usually very busy on the admin side side of the business so um i just want to say good morning to you guys catching you up on everything that has been happening in the past three days i have like three packages from asos i think three very little ones um we're gonna go over them together i honestly don't even remember what it is inside of them i totally forgot because i've recently been ordering from asos a bit too much <laughs> i mean they have so many cute springy bits and for some unknown reason i feel like i like wearing color during spring um and this weekend every time i posted a picture of my outfit on my instagram story everybody was like shocked they're like oh my god you're wearing yellow you're wearing neon you're wearing pink i'm like i do wear pink a lot but like neon yellow is not a color that i go for a lot but yeah after i'm done with my meeting we're gonna open up those asos packages and see what's inside them my meeting is actually in an hour and a half so let's just go over the asos items Oh, if you guys watched my last ASOS haul, probably you guys saw this dress. This is the dress that I got to wear at my best friend Ani's wedding. Um, I mean, not 100%. If I find something else, I will wear something else. But I absolutely love this dress and I just needed to have it. I'll find an occasion to wear it. Um, I showed you guys this gorgeous, gorgeous dress. Oh, this is the back. Here's the front. <laughs> I showed you guys this gorgeous dress, but that dress was size 12, and at the time that I was buying it, the size 14 was out of stock. But randomly, I checked in um, ASOS, and they had the size 14 available, so I got the size 14 because the 12 was a little bit restricting. I don't know why all of these came in separate packages. They're all the same order. Ooh, I remember this dress. Oh, this is so cute. I really hope our meat will look cute too. It's like this sunflower -y. is it sunflower no it's not it's just yellow flower um the hands are mesh and it's like this a-line super flowy dress it comes with this um very cute like bohemian kind of like belt with it um the front of it is like high neck but the back is like pretty much like open um like this much open this is very very cute i'm gonna try it on see if it fits me my search for leather leggings has not ended yet um i ordered this one this is the new look petite size us 10 this is very small but i have ordered the size 12 of these and it was big on me um, so i'm gonna start, try on the size 10 this seems very small i don't think this will fit me but i'll try it on and i will let you guys know uh, but they're stretchy that's the good thing about it so i'm gonna try that on and i wanted to get a petite because i've talked about this many times i'm really short so in order for my i'm not really short i'm 5'4 in order for my legs to look a little bit longer i always like to wear cropped um pants and all of that so i usually go for the petite ones if they have um so um basically i always like to show my ankle it makes your legs look a little bit longer oh this is so cute but uh, why is this only cardigan where is the actual top of this this is supposed to come with a bandeau top look how gorgeous is the color i mean the camera it looks a little bit too blue but in person it's like a baby blue so this is what i was supposed to receive but apparently the cardigan and the crop top come separately i just ordered the crop top they only had size medium available i have another item that i ordered from this package that it is not here maybe it's coming separately maybe by end of the day i will um but here it is 
it's a very cute cardigan and a crop top set that is very much in right now and i'm here for this trend i absolutely love it you can wear the um, crop top during even summer i love neat just general speaking i just love it even during summer i like it uh, but it's perfect for spring like during the day you can wear them even though it's extremely cold here right now um, you can wear the uh, crop top during the day and just wear a jacket on top of it if you want to if you get cold if not you can take your jacket off and i love that they're the same matching separate like you don't have to think about what to match with each other so i'm here for this trend i'm actually writing a blog post all about um spring trends um and um linking a bunch of options for you guys if that video by the time you guys if that blog post by the time you guys are watching this video is up um i will uh, link it for you guys in the description box below and here is the pink one the pink one i was right it comes with a crop top it's super cute um this one is actually from river island the other one was from new look um but yeah super super cute the sims a little bit small i got it in size large the cardigan seems a little bit oversized but the crop top seems a little bit small but um as i said i'll let you guys know um if i ended up keeping it or not I am going to close up this video here because I have a lot of work things to do and nothing exciting is about to happen for the rest of the day. Um, so I'm going to love you and leave you. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!